Cool. Yes. All right, now, uh, the Rosenbergs, before I start talking about everything that has to do with music and all that stuff, you guys, let's talk about this right here, our juicer addicts. Is this crew? True? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, now, what is this? Is this your special machine you got going here? Uh, this is the J. Cordage oh. Juice Man Jr. Okay. It's available for $89.95 through our website. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, have you ever thought about doing that? Maybe, you know, going in on a deal with, you know, because you guys are independent group you're known for, you know, artist rights, you own your masters, that sort of thing. You're out of your mind. Another <laughs> source of income, you know? Wait, Actually, where's our manager? <laughs> we, we, we were going we to make sushi, but our manager thought it would be funnier if we made juice because... He said not to mention All right, so what is, is, what is the uh, juice we're going to make right now? Um, well, we're going to make a lovely green apple uh, celery parsley juice. And then what so is this going to do for my internal organs? It's going to screw you up something awful if you have intolerance <laughs> or any kind of a bladder condition. Okay. But what it does is it actually prevents your muscles from forming lactic acid. It is, it is uh, nature's natural Gatorade. And so basically, you have parsley, which is the third most nutritious thing on the planet. Anybody know what the other two are? We need to chop those. Um, spinach? Marijuana. No, close. Marijuana, he said. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, alfalfa sprouts and radish. I believe. Okay. I'm correct. So we got the parsley, we got the celery, and all that stuff, and um, and you got crispy cream over there. That doesn't make yeah, that sense. Yeah, so You're maybe doing well. the yes. health thing. So that, that adds the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, first off, I know you guys are kind of sick of talking about it, but Donut, first, let's get it out of the way. You know, the, the farm club issue, and because I mean, you guys got a lot of press about that. That's the first time I actually heard about you guys. You know, reading about how you refuse to uh, go on the show because of the contractual obligations. You want to talk right. about that? Well, yeah. I mean, basically. Um, Everybody, everybody in the uh, music industry probably knows what happened already, but a lot of people who, who basically aren't probably don't. Yeah. Um, just to make a, a long story longer, we, uh, we, we were supposed to go on TV and play with the Counting Crows about a year ago. Okay. And Farm Club had a website, and we were going to go on and, and play on their television show, which airs right after the WWF, and they thought that was a good idea. <laughs> um, and uh, so we, we were going to go on and we were expecting a two-page rights clearance form, something along the lines of a, of a television release. And what we got was a 23-page contract. You know, we own you for six records if you sign this contract wow. and appear for two minutes on our television show. Okay. And they owned our website and they had a, a two-month exclusive <laughs> option so no other label could sign us and all that stuff. And basically, um, we sent out an email and over the weekend it made it to everybody in the music business over okay. the weekend. And oh, since then, oh, we found <laughs> Ralph. Oh, oh my God! Shit! Oh my God! We've got a serious accident here. You, you all right, man? You gonna need some set? stitches? Is doctor on set? Yeah, we got a doctor. We have a serious uh -oh. cut on the finger here. It's good with. Wait, 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 I'll get it. I'll get it. I think it's I'll good. With <laughs> anybody play guitar? Oh God! It's okay. I need to see that. Just a donut. Okay. Anybody play guitar? Okay. Out there? You, little boy, do you play guitar? Hey, um, so since then, though, you've been known for, you know, championing artist rights. You, mm -hmm. you talked at Harvard Law School and also on Capitol Hill. Is that true? Yeah, last Friday we were honored to go on Capitol Hill. What a and, trip. And, I mean, and, tell me about that. Well, uh, we were taken around by a couple of folks from an organization called the Future of Music Coalition. And they introduced us to a couple of senators, staffers, and we got to sit down with them and, and basically talk about how the music business sucks these days and yeah. exactly what needs to change and how um, we, we basically gave them a few points that they need to address and you know they, they seem to listen to us and and understand what we were talking about so as of tomorrow everything's gonna be fine <laughs> Yay. I mean that is the thing though I mean do you really feel like they were listening that's what I was gonna ask you and you said yes they, were, they, but... they actually are very supportive um, Senator Conyers is coming out with a bill that hopefully will uh, okay. give artists collective bargaining power against um, the angel of death who is Hillary Rosen and the RIAA. RIAA. yes that's right yeah um, but basically yeah right now um, our biggest fear is clear channel Clear Channel uh, is a, record, uh, a radio station. Owns about a third right. of the radio stations in the country. Right, they own 60% yeah. of the modern rock radio stations. They own all the venues almost. They own television stations. They own radio tracking yeah. and publications. And so basically, it's, it's virtually legal antitrust at this point. All right, it's depressing, so let's try to turn away from <laughs> depression. But and there is a positive light on this whole thing, and that is a lot of people who are underneath all these powerful people are very positive and, and do want change. So. Okay. All right, good. Now let's make some juice before start I start juicing. crying about the yeah. everything. So Are we got to okay? go in here. Huh? Are you okay? I'm fine. Really. That, he was faking. It was <laughs> oh, a was donut. Yeah. Oh, my God. He got me too. I was like, I you looked know. and I saw like, okay. I, don't, no, I thought your finger froze. He jammed <laughs> it in a <laughs> jelly donut. All right, cool. Let's get some juice here. I want to taste some juice. Are we going? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah. let's do this. Let's, right up. let's get some action let's see going if this here. Works. Yes. All right, rock and roll. I'll probably really do it now. All right. Sure. 
Morning. Uh, yeah. Superior elder brother wants to know if you guys have oh a track God. called In Pursuit. <laughs> have we ever tried this? Yes. In Pursuit. Yes, In we Pursuit. Do. He said it's a fat track. Thank Fifth you for making it. Fifth track on the album. That's my favorite track, Thank too. Thank you, my friend. That's deaf. Yeah. Is that how that goes? Did I do it wrong? Already? All right, so uh, here we go with the apple, correct? I Apples I go in. Okay. All right. Just not your finger. Now, do you bring this machine with you guys on the road? And we really can't. You gotta have something here. under it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my job. I am a rock star. Are you guys I'm really a <laughs> juicers? Are you, is this some BS thing, you know, where. Where's my the production God. assistant with the glass? <laughs> do you guys have somebody who makes juice for you on the road? No, no, actually. Okay. We just do it ourselves. Yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, we'll make juice during the break here. We'll get it all wrapped up. We'll have a little taste test. Uh, but remember, Live or Let Die video vote up to you at home whether or not some 41 will last another day. Please get online, email us, email the band, email me, email Thalia, and make a video vote there for some 41 or the beta band. Be back. It's a daily beat.